Hey everyone, my name is Erin Gifford. I have been a graphic designer for over 15 years and I'm back with you today for another new Illustrator tutorial. I'm going to show you how to recreate this drawing that I have in front of me um, and we're going to go over, it includes two things. We are going, I'm going to show you how to use the scissor tool which is over here um, kind of towards the middle of your tool palette and then apply how to apply this color gradient um, by using the gradient palette. So to get started, I'm just going to move this um, current drawing out of my way as soon as my computer stops thinking. There we go. And okay, so first we're going to start with over here in our shape palette, we're going to choose the star tool and we're going to hold Control Shift Alt right in the middle of the page. Control Shift, well, first we gotta click and hold. Control Shift Alt, and then drag out, and we'll get a nice star shape. So let's go ahead and add a stroke um, up to your stroke palette. And we want a pretty wide stroke. So let's go ahead and start with probably about. 20 points. There we go. And we're, we're I'm going to show you how to create that gradient. So we'll just start with black. And we could go even a little bit thicker. So let's go 30 points. Yep. And my arrow tool, I'm going to just move that in the center because it bugs me when it's not. So right now you can see that our star has pointy tips. And we don't, for this drawing, we don't want pointy tips. We want rounded corners. So if we go to our stroke palette um, and choose the middle two options round cap, it's going to go ahead and round our corners for us, which is what we want. Now in order to get these little, okay, this is bugging me too. I got to get rid of this fill. I'm sorry, my computer tends to slow down when I have the recorder on, but okay, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna use the scissor tool and we're gonna cut these two pieces out of the star. So let's go to our scissor tool and first, wait, first we want our direct selection tool and we're gonna select our star so we can see um, the path of it. Then we're gonna use the scissor tool and just like a scissors, you just have to click on the path exactly where you want to make a cut. So in this case, we're going to make it in this upper left hand corner here. We're going to click once here and once over here. And now you can see it just kind of made a cut. It's still there though. Um, and we're going to do the same thing down here in the corner. So a click and a click. And now using the white arrow tool, direct selection, we can see if we click where we cut, those segments are still there. So we can just click and move those out of the way. And actually we can just go ahead and delete them because we won't need them. So that is how easy it is to use the scissor tool. Now to give it kind of this three, three dimensional look, we just have to add a gradient. So let's take our, um, I forget the name of it, The I call it the open arrow tool, and we're going to click and drag so that all of our segments are selected, and then we are going to go to color palette, make sure that our stroke is what we're changing, right now it's black, and then you want to bring up your gradient palette, and here is the gradient. I'm going to select it. Yours is probably gray right now. So if that's true, here, let me start at the default, which is probably where you're at. There. So this is probably where you're at because it defaults black and white. So first, you can tell that our gradient isn't going the direction we want. Like it's starting out with our left hand color here and ending with our right hand color, our darker color here and we want the gradient to go the width of the stroke. So in order to change that, if you see underneath here, make sure that your type is set to linear, 
and then we have our three options down here and you can see I'll show you the difference the one this first one is is um, right now the direction of the gradient and then when you click in the center and apply it along the stroke it gives it a completely different look it starts the gradient at the beginning of the path and ends it at the end of the path which is not what we want either so we're going to choose this third one and we're going to apply the stroke across the gradient so that is looking a little bit closer um, to what we have here now it's just a matter of fine-tuning your colors within the stroke so let's double click on our first color and we're just going to make that like a mid color green not not too light not too dark and then we're going to go ahead and click about a quarter of the way here in our palette and we're going to add another little notch here another slider and then we're going to double click to bring up the color palette and that color we're going to make a lighter green because that's going to be like the highlight I'm going to go even a little lighter there we go then we're going to add another slider about three quarters of the way just by clicking once to add the slider and then double click to bring up the color and that color is going to be a little bit darker green there we go and then our final one on the right we just have to double click um, it'll probably default to this black we just have to go up here to the corner change it to I'm going to do this in RGB and then I want to click a pretty dark green for this bottom color yeah so if you see here now we have our 3D looking star with the little parts of the outline that we cut off. So I hope this helps in your creative journey. Um, it's a pretty simple um, illustration to make, but I can't wait to see what you guys, what other things you guys come up to do with it. So let me know if you have a master creation that you'd like to share. That would be great. Uh, until next time, have a great week.